and an evening tiptoe through the tulips as Floriade is seen in a very different light. One of Canberra's most famous events is taking on a different look tonight as the lights of Nightfest are switched on at Floriade. For the next five nights, Commonwealth Park will be lit up in what's being dubbed a floral extravaganza. Reporter Matthew Doran joins us live from Floriard. And Matthew, what can people expect as they file through the gates? Well, Craig, it is a bit of a uh, cool night here in Commonwealth Park. You'd be forgiven for thinking it wasn't spring, but it hasn't stopped plenty of people pouring in through the gates to enjoy this spectacle. Now, there are tens of thousands of bulbs throughout the Commonwealth Park, and it's not just in this area behind me. They are scattered right the way around the Floriard displays. Just, uh, just over to my left, uh, we've got the Cathedral of Light. Now, I don't want to put pressure on anyone, but it has been described as one of the more romantic areas, so it could be a good spot for some young love to blossom. Uh, we've also got the uh, Narang Pool, which has a lighting and uh, music display. But all of these uh, displays relate back to this year's theme of reflections. Now we are in the centenary of Anzac. There are lots of poppy motifs and, and displays right the way throughout the park. And uh, the, the, many of the displays, as I mentioned, do relate back to that spirit of Anzac. Now these displays don't just pop up overnight, it's hundreds of hours of man, man work and, uh, and uh, a lot of planning goes in to make sure that the lighting really does show off the floral displays. I had a chat with one of the main designers a little earlier. I think one of the great things about Nightfest is that it's a, it's a chance to see the park in a new light. You've got a month of days where you can come and see the flowers under white sunlight. Um, so for us, the chance to reinvent it is actually quite cool. And to work with the gardeners, um, I think the best designs are always designs where you can't tell what came first. So we've got things buried in the flower beds and really integrated in it. And I think that's, that's what we really aim for. Now, of course, the, uh, the, the lights are showing off these beautiful flower displays around me, but it's not all about the flowers. It's not all about the lights. There's also plenty of live music, uh, comedy acts, uh, food stalls for people to come down after work and enjoy the atmosphere. And uh, for those who are uh, environmentally conscious, the power bill this year is only about 5% what it has been in previous years due to the high use of LED lighting. So for the next five nights, the Commonwealth Park will be lit up like a Christmas tree. It's a bit early for that, but uh, plenty of activities for people to come down and enjoy over the next five nights. Craig? Looks terrific, Matthew. Enjoy that. Thank you.